Hello everybody, it's Lucas McIntosh here and I'm back with some more WCW NWO World Tour for the Nintendo 64. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out one of my retro Let's Play videos, I really appreciate it. If you are indeed enjoying my content and would like to see more, why not hit that subscribe button because that way you will be instantly subscribed to my channel and notified every time I upload a new video and I've got new content coming each and every single week. Okay, so last time I managed to get the WCW Tag Team titles I wrestled them away from, I believe it was Rick Steiner and Eddie Guerrero possibly, I could be wrong, I'm sure it was though, um, it's been quite a while, but anyway I also uh, told you that when you start the game and when you play for a championship you have to save it after, otherwise it won't register when you turn it on, it doesn't save automatically. Um, like in the next game in the series so what I did do because I also told you that when I went back after I'd won the cruiserweight title this was like some videos ago um, I had to go through the game again and play for it again to get it to register and then save it so there's a what you do is you go into options and there's an option which will allow you to save it and also I don't think it saves on the cartridge um, you have to have like a memory pack which is like really strange I suppose but well I don't mind too much anyway okay so this time I'm going to be going for the WCW World Heavyweight title so I can pick pretty much anybody I want to um, let's see who do I want to go for the title um, let me see it's got to be the man Ric Flair I mean let's face it um, most of my early memories were of watching him in WCW my early wrestling memories anyway right now it's Ric Flair versus Rick Steiner so it's two Ricks basically so how cool is that Rick Steiner and the nature boy Ric Flair yes here we go I love the way Rick Steiner just dived and like nothing happened <laughs> he's like he just missed me completely so I've got a feeling Steiner's gonna win this one Unless Flair can get out of it. Let's see. Come on, Flair. Yes. Into a suplex there. And I'm just going to go by the strategy. Look at that. Because he's Ric Flair, he uses all these dastardly, sort of cowardly moves and stuff to win. Which is what Ric Flair is synonymous for. Absolutely one of the most charismatic wrestlers ever. I have seen him live, and this was a, I think it was at a Raw. I went to a live Raw, again probably in Birmingham because it's like the nearest. Um, I'm sure he was on the card, but I just can't remember who he was against. It was, I'm talking like years and years ago, around 2004, I want to say. So let me see, it's like 14 years ago. I saw Ric Flair, and <laughs> incredible. I do remember it was just watching Raw live was awesome because they actually filmed Sunday Night Heat before it that was when Heat was uh, the show before Raw and um, they had Robbie Brookside who was wrestling as well I think he was wrestling Simon Dean anyone remember him Simon Dean and the Simon system what a great gimmick that was I think WWE wasted an opportunity there because I know that Nova himself uh, he kind of had the gimmick and he was saying to Vince about how they could Make, make make some money by doing an actual Simon system and helping people and Vince was like no 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 we can't do that but it would have worked out in Nova's favour because so I keep calling him Nova because that's how I know him from like ECW and stuff but it, it kind of worked out in his favour because it's one of the most fondly remembered things and I think he gets a lot of questions about it as well but if Vince had agreed and there'd been a ton of like DVDs and stuff about uh, Simon Dean promoting exercise and Simon Dean would get some of the royalties I think that's one reason why Vince McMahon was like no can't do that anyway I am kicking Rick Steiner's booty here and I should just be able to get special in a moment he seems to be backing off quite quite a lot so let's see if I can pull off a finisher Okay, I'm gonna try. Oh, for God's sake. I don't wanna do any of these cowardly moves. I wanna do a special. Let's see what his special is. 
Oh, it's, it's this is the Ric Flair. Oh, see, this is Hogan. This was Hogan's move. So why, so why have they give it to... This is the same move that Hogan had, I swear to God. On, um... I think it's on the next game, though. That's probably what I'm thinking of. I haven't played this Hogan next. And it's easy to get the two games confused because they use the same system. The same wrestling engine, I should say. And but both games are equally as good. If I had to recommend one over the other, even though I wouldn't do that, I would probably say this one. I know how that sounds, but it just it's just exciting because you've got different organizations and stuff and um there's definitely more to it, but definitely check out the second one. The second one's not to be sniffed at. Or maybe just own both. I mean you can get them for like literally nothing now on eBay, which is awesome. Okay, it's do oh, I think Rick Rick Stein is reversed there. He's just gonna release suplex on me. So I'm gonna put Rick uh, Rick Steiner away. It does get confusing because there are a lot of Ricks here. See, like I don't know how to actually pin on its own. I don't know if it's possible to pin your opponent. Um, it doesn't seem to be a mechanism for that. And I said I looked that up, but I still haven't done that yet. However, you can kind of pin them sometimes when you pull off a certain move. So, or I can just make them give up. So there's more than one way to skin a cat, basically. Come on. There we go. See, most wrestlers have a pin in move anyway in their repertoire so it doesn't matter that there might not be an actual button to pin because you can just choose a move from your arsenal and chances are you better pin ah figure four legendary figure four if I could make him tap out from this that would be so cool I'd be marking out huge fan of Ric Flair I know Bret Hart was like he, he wasn't a very good wrestler but he was such a charismatic man was Ric Flair I mean my god as a wrestler, I mean, still is, he lives his gimmick, oh man, like, that's, that's the believability of his character, and that's how much he kind of believed in himself, so it got to the point where he believed in his head he was the nature boy, and it kind of helped his character in a way. I do remember the Jay Lethal impression though, in, um, I want to say TNA, as it was back then, it's now GFW, and that was really funny. Like, really great. Oh, come on. Right, okay. This match has been going for over five minutes now, and I still haven't managed to get this guy to submit. Right, come on. Come on. Get up, get up, get up, get up. I think... Oh. There you go. He should give up now, I think, because I reckon he'll give up now. No? Oh, come on, Steiner. Jesus Christ. Ric Flair like chops. Yeah, they give this move to Hogan in um, revenge for some reason. And I remember saying I, it didn't look right to me. It was as if they were like, I, I get that Hogan was like a heel and stuff, but he would. I don't really think he would have used that move when he was in the NWO personally but well it doesn't matter it's just a small detail I mean there's better battles to fight I suppose look at this oh god do you know what I'm really enjoying this contest because Rick Stein is actually getting some offense in so he's actually fighting back so it isn't like the AI is totally done now I should mention that our oh, allows you to block attacks but there is an art to actually blocking in this game you know if you know when to block then you can save yourself a ton of damage so when I eventually get around to doing this on hard mode then and also the other game then I'm gonna be utilizing that block button probably a lot and using a lot of um, tactics outside the ring as well to help me win oh come on this is ridiculous I just wanna pin this guy now Strong grapple, octopus stretch. 
come on, just give up for God's sake. It's been over six minutes. What is your problem? Oh, so stupid. So I can't just pin him. That's the most annoying part. I have to use a move that's got a, a pinfall. And different moves seem to do, different types of grapples seem to do different things. Yeah, the flare struck. So I can't just, it's really annoying. Come on, just give up for God's sake. I hope this isn't going to be a long slog for the belt. I can't imagine it would be. Um, I'm hoping that I'll, I'll unlock the other belts. I mean, I can't see Aki just having the three belts in that. That would be ridiculous. I mean, like, the TV title and the US belt are, like, legendary. So why would they not include those? Oh, this is driving me nuts, by the way. See, look at that. You can, I can drag my opponent, but I can't pin him. I don't know how to actually pin my opponents. Let's try a Ric Flair off the top rope. Okay. Right, I'm going to do this. A backslide. Oh, come on. This is just... You see, basically, Ric Flair, he's like... He's like he has still a lot of damage to Rick Steiner. Whether it's because it's on World Heavyweight uh, title mode, maybe that's it. Maybe that's why I'm not getting anywhere. That could be one of the reasons. So fights are actually lasting longer now. So which which is good for me because I'll have more videos. So I don't mind too much. All right, it should do it now. There we go, finally. Just over eight minutes he took me to pin Rick Steiner. And Ric Flair wins the match. There's only room for one Rick, I'm afraid. And the gauntlet continues as my next opponent is Flair's legendary nemesis, Sting. Legendary opponent. And I think Sting was... I think Ric Flair and Sting was the last ever match. Um, last ever WCW match. Basically... But yeah, ton of respect for Flair and Sting. Sting in particular, I remember like when he had the bleach blonde hair and the, the face paint and stuff. And he had that funky music which just, I don't know, I just loved it. I would sing it all the time. Like, I just thought it was just great music. Yeah, I'm very inspirational as well. As a little kid, I really looked up to Sting because he was like, he would always, they'd always show fights with him and Vader and stuff. And it was great. They'd have some classic matches. So it's like the Scorpion Deathlock versus the figure four. Woo! But I'm gonna just work on Sting. Make him submit if I can. Because I know on um, Revenge you can actually... I think you can unlock Bleach Blonde Sting by going to his profile. I think you press enough and you'll get the uh, 90s, early 90s version of Sting. So that's something I definitely want to do. And you guys seem to be loving these videos, so I'm going to keep doing them. You know what I mean? I'm not just going to do them just for the sake of doing them, because they'll get me views. I really want to put a lot into them. Um, I hope you guys continue to enjoy them. Um, and as long as you guys will enjoy them, I will continue to make them. So, And basically... I've just always had a fascination with these games, and as a, as a kid, I never really got to play them. And it's like, I guess I was more interested in like Banjo Kazooie or something, or the other games, because it was sort of later on we started to get more consoles. Uh, we had a Sega Saturn, we had an N64, um, we were still playing on the SNES and the Mega Drive and stuff, so we had quite a few consoles dotted around. Um, so. This was one that we would probably play the most, but as I said, my older brother was, and still is, a huge wrestling fan, and he was so good. I think we owned both these games, I don't know, either one or the other, but I know I brought them. I know I was the one that brought them from um, Electronics Boutique, as it was at the time. So, but I just couldn't get into them. <laughs> I would literally buy games 
Like I was on this youth apprenticeship scheme when I was a kid and it was like it was ridiculous because I get 50 quid a week. I do like a full week's proper week's work. I get 50 quid a week. But because I was young um and just like I just thought I don't want to work. I don't want to get a job. Uh, you know, that's the mentality I had at that age. I just stopped going and the basically the training company still paid me. It was great. <laughs> they still paid me. So I was being paid for months and months and months until the company just went like bankrupt. So basically I wouldn't I just wouldn't go to work or I'd just basically sit in my bum all day, be a lazy teenager and like wait till Friday, which was payday and just go and buy an N sixty four game or whatever game I wanted really. It was great. It was good times. So I remember buying oh Resident Evil um, two for the N sixty four and that's a game. I definitely I'm gonna get from eBay as well and probably do a let's play on that as well. Oh god. This is proving to be an awkward battle. I've gotta put Sting away, basically. I've gotta put him away. Other way he just slaps the mat and he's so determined to beat me. It's not gonna happen, Sting. It's not going to happen. Boom! There we go. So yeah, I'm going to just put out loads of these videos, guys. If you want to see these videos, then that's what I'll do. I will be doing other stuff as well. Um, don't worry about that. So The other videos won't stop. But I've just got enough, I don't know, fascination with these games. absolutely love them. I'm sure for many of you as well it brings back those memories of um, wrestling on TV. I know for me it was like TNT, there'd be WCW on TNT, we watched that and we watched the WWF. Oh come on man. I've got to put Sting away, this is ridiculous, see that? If you press R at the right spot you can block their attacks and that's the key to winning in this game so I've got to remember that when I do it on hard mode yeah and then it got to the point where I'd buy the merchandise there you go, things give up like the WWF shop as it was back then oh dear bear with me alright Bit of a sore throat, guys. Okay, now it's Ric Flair versus Scott Steiner. The gauntlet style. So let's just get on with it. Let's get it on. Yes, nice, nice swift kick there to the head of Scott Steiner. I've got to get in there. The figure four leg lock. Got to be done. This game system is incredible. Like, I think it's probably one of the best wrestling games ever. I say that every time, but I just gush over this game every time I play it. I just can't stop playing it, that's the thing. Alright. There you go. Pile driver. Get up flare. I wanted to do another pile driver, but I accidentally pressed the wrong button. Let's just take out his legs. There we go, do that again. Try and get my spirit meter up. Basically, if you twiddle the joypad, you can get the crowd to cheer for you and your, your spirit meter will just shoot up. There it is. Figure four leg block, basically. I know I've got a special. I'm aware of that, but I might be able to get one because he's not going to tap out now. So, However, his energy level has gone down quite quickly. Come on. He's just refusing to grapple with me now. There we are. There's root flare. Oh my god, flare bump. <laughs> I love it, and then he just begs. And check it out, you can kind of do one more. Like, even after the special's gone. If it's like a few seconds after, it's still active. Oh, there you go, small package. So I did a weak grapple there. 